What a world, DJ the Mac. What a wet chopping and screwing it because we're about to bust open the new BT12 across time, or as I'd like to say, about goddamn time because Bandai be dropping the ball in regards to the UK release. This has been pushed back quite a few times, but luckily enough, we managed to get our hands on the product. So we're going to bust this open like Pringles, but first thing we've got to do is if, if you enjoy the content of what I do, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell. And let's just call some bets right now. I reckon I'm going to get maybe an alt quartz in here. I know my boy Mark, boo, 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 shout out, is literally itching for this card. He's already dropped it in the, in the chat. So let's see what we can actually do here. We might come clutch for a boy. So, right, let's pop it open. Let's see what good. I literally have no idea in terms of what we actually get in here, but it looks like we do get a nice little promotion uh, box pack, which is which is nice. And we also get this, the, obviously, the security promos, uh, which I'm looking forward to seeing what we actually receive. Um, I mean, I would like a nice Hookmon being a Jessmon Stan. Uh, but, you know, let's see what goes down. So we do have the Imp Mom, which is hella sick. That's what we like to see. And my boy Jordan is absolutely itching for this card there as well. So, uh, so really good stuff in regards to the actual uh, limited card pack. So let's go into what my promotional pack card is going to be. And it's going to be our Aster Mom, uh, which, yeah, I, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. I really don't have much choice. So <laughs> that's them two's done. But let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get to the main main course, as we as we like to say right now. Uh, hopefully we do get some pretty decent cards. This this actual BT is pretty much all hits. There's nothing that I like don't want. Um so I'm pretty happy with whatever we receive. But you know, starting off, I'm gonna try and just do it a little bit quick. Um, because you know it's all about the secret rares, and obviously want to keep this uh, video down. So we do get the Takuya, which is obviously going to be handy for us to you know rock in with that red uh, red hybrid source. And then we do get our first SR, which is going to be Astro Mom uh, Superior Mode, which is a uh, very nice right there. Uh, especially if you are going to be rocking in with your obviously with your hunters. So really good stuff there. Cannot complain about a thing. Starting off pretty solid. So, with Takuya, obviously, we need, what, we need bloody, how many? <laughs> we need a playset if we want to be running, running Red Hybrid. Uh, it is definitely required, but let's see what else we get right here. Let's see what's saw. So, it looks like we have got something that's looking pretty nice. Uh, we do want our Gilmon right there. And I think, obviously, we've got Clockwork, and then we do get our secret, which is going to be the Shoutmon uh, Cross 7 Superior Mode, which is looking very nice right there very slick so we're already starting off pretty big <laughs> starting off pretty big secret looking solid we can't complain with a little bit of that let me just make sure that my microphone's uh putting in the right area so i do apologize if it's slightly audio is going to be weird but let's keep up the vibes let's keep up the hype so i hope everyone's liking my new fresh mat because i ain't gonna lie i'm looking forward to playing beelzemon at full power uh really fun deck um, and it seems like a lot of people are enjoying the Beelzemon um, and the new tools it's got. So, nothing too spicy there. Just obviously with the Marcus Damon, pretty vital for Shine Grey Mom. And then we do get the Ancient Mermaid Mom. God, that does not roll off the tongue uh, right there. So, let's just get this a little bit ordered here. So, obviously the rares. And then we do just have the general bulk, which is a... Uh, I'll sift through off camera. So let's see what else we've got going on here. We are currently on the, I think it's the fourth pack. Uh, like I said, I'll try and speed this bad boy up. So I'll obviously note out any notable mentions. So obviously another Marcus, and we do get our nice War Greymon as a super rare, which is very nice indeed. It's, oh God, honestly, it's a bit of a menace of what it can do. <laughs> Especially with the um, with obviously the new Metal Grey, which just obviously inherits piercing and then obviously on top of that then you've got uh your raid mechanic which is just two deadly combinations <laughs> so there's clearing board and still getting the checks in is uh yeah disastrous so going on to the next pack this is notable we do get a nice little flame mom which whoops, we do need a goonie mom with the fucking fucking kick which i do like uh, seventh cluster, which is sick, and then we do get our obviously our Davis, and we do get our Beelzemon X antibody, which is very nice as what I actually need um, until my ult art arrives. 
uh, and then I'll be rocking that max drip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bielsa on deck, which is obviously ready for ready for regionals in June, June the second. So going up with the squad, it's going to be hella lit, hella fire. Uh, so let's see what we can get right here in the next pack. So Greymon, obviously we do need that if you're rocking with the War Greymon um, support and the new archetype. Uh, see what else we've got going on so a super eradication attack and then we do get a cheeky fighter mode which is looking very sick really nice pose right there giving gallant mom the clap down that's what <laughs> that's what this boy's doing puts a tron laser to the face that's yeah nasty but that is a another super rare we're getting through our super rares pretty um pretty quickly i'm not gonna lie here um, it's gonna be some absolute like dry ass packs coming. <laughs> Rocking on to the next one. Let's see what we got going on. So we already pretty much got our uh, Bielsmon stuff. So we do want the Growlmon. So if we can get more of a place like that, Brandon Gray is definitely nice. And we do get our Takado, which we do want right there because I am very excited to be essentially using the new Gallopmon in support. I think it's very solid, uh, but like what everyone says, like Gallopmon is the most balanced deck. <laughs> it's like, it's like Bandai is scared to make it good, <laughs> make it like too OP. So going on to the next pack, let's see what cooking, any notable ones. So also the Vmon's quite nice for its new line. And uh, also we, we do get some more support there as well. And we do get the War Growl, which is really, really good for Gallant right there. So, keeping it nice. If, if I can get like a like a few of a few of those, I'll be happy. <laughs> I'll be happy. I'll be able to do some testing. So, yep, got another Gilmon, which is sick. And then we do got a Rise, and we also get our Shining Blast there too. So, nothing whoa at the moment. We don't have a alternate art uh, currently, so we are sitting and banking on that for for hopefully something spicy. So let's see what's going on. The growl, we love to see it. Wizardmon, all that fun stuff. And then obviously XV, really good stuff. And we do get our boy Gallopmon. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's what we like to see. A little bit of red magic for you. Very nice card right there. So <laughs> super rares, we are packing. <laughs> we are packing those super rares. Secret rare there as well, uh, which is which is nice. It's not bad. Not bad. Um, box so far but it all could change it really depends on what the alt source is going to be uh, we do get the bow x antibody and we also get the final cross blade which just look pretty freaking epic right there um looking for already pretty much like i say we already got our uh Beelzemon x antibody line stuff already due to obviously the delays for the UK, which has been a little bit unfortunate because I'm not gonna lie guys, I've been slightly a tad jealous in regards to people busting these boxes open and we're still in the UK waiting for <laughs> for said boxes to arrive. So for the notable rares, obviously we do get the V laser, which I think is pretty sick. It is nice and what it does obviously be able to just kind of play out a level four lower Digimon uh, with Phoenix traits. Like I know it may not look good in armors, but to able just to use this strip sources and throw down the magnum on <laughs> um it's pretty nice for free um and then we do get the pialdrum on there as well which is pretty nice so i'm definitely kind of interested to see how v laser can be can be teched in it's a little bit like janky spice but i do like just kind of ruining someone's inevitable stack and then just getting a getting a body out uh, especially if it's like a blocker there as well which can come which can come pretty clutch so let's see what we've got going on here. We're on to the next side. So not really any notable mentions here. We'll probably gonna expect some kind of dry pulls right now because I mean we're pretty much loaded with what we what we've got so far. So I'll quickly whistle through these and then hopefully we'll manage to get some alt source, which would be nice. So another Gilmon, which I think we're actually pretty good on the Gilmon front. Uh, so we do get an XV and then we do get the Grand Quagga and then we do get a nice all force X antibody which is once again very nice unfortunately don't really have much of the pieces to 
fully constructed deck, but it's definitely a deck I would love to try. Hopefully those arenas might go down in price. Uh, it would be would be nice <laughs> if, they, if that if that could happen. Uh, but I can't see it going down and down anytime soon, just the way the deck is functioning and it's pretty much a key part of the deck. So another flame on, which is what we want to see, and then we do get another V laser, and then we do get an ancient wise mon. Uh, so not bad so far. Would love to see some bit more tamers. <laughs> that, would, that would be that would be nice, Bandai. Treat me nice. So let's see what we've got going on. Any spicy stuff here? Uh, obviously, worm on. We do want those, and then we do get a metal gray mon, which is pretty key. And then we also get the Dino B. Dino B, keep it clean. Next pack, click. Let's get it. I don't even know why I even bought the scissors. Scissors ain't required. I got my I got my rip game nailed down. <laughs> so let's see what good. Here we go. Nothing too spicy as I can see. Uh, another metal gray, which is sick. And then we do get our chaos drum on X antibody. And then there, my boy Corey uh, is looking for these. So yeah, very nice that we did manage to manage to get that. Uh, very nice card art right there. Uh, we'll just pop that with the rest of the squad and uh, nicely two metal gray mons, which is also very clean. On to the next one. On to the next one, please. Give me a, 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 a old art. Ah, that's what we want to be seeing. We're not, we've not seen one yet. Um, and I'm going to be gutted if it's something that I'm like, mm, not really wanting. But here we go. So we've got the Impildrum on and we do get the War Greymon ult, which is very nice. That is sick right there. That'd be clean. <laughs> That'd be very nice. I love the detail on that. It's still one of my favorite artists as well. So yeah, definitely a... Uh, Definitely nice there to get the to get the War Greymon alt. Uh, very clean. I'm looking forward to building that deck. There's a lot of decks that I just want to actually build in this in this form in this format. So yeah, very looking forward to to using that right there. So we've not seen any ancient um, Emperor Greymons, which is a little bit unfortunate. Since Red Hybrid is like my is my deck. <laughs> it is my deck and I don't think it's happening. I don't think it's happening in this pack. Um, like I say, like in terms of ults now, I may get an ult tamer. That's a possibility, but I don't think uh Digimon wise I've literally used I've used all up, up the up the source. <laughs> so nothing much happening there. So we do have four more packs, so four more packs to redeem ourselves a little bit good that we've only got one to cat uh very unfortunate and in my build i'm only running two of the new ones so i mean it'd be absolutely clutch if we managed to get uh one now uh so let's see what's good so nothing spicy here uh, and then we do get the grand quags and then we do get the pyeldramon so at least we've got two of pyeldramons uh which is which is pretty nice let's see what else Third to last pack. Come on, treat me nice. Treat me nice. Where that old tamer at? <laughs> I'm due. So we've got another Davis, which is pretty sick. And we do get a nice Aldemon. And I just love the freaking pose. It's like you're ready for the Metsu so Hadouken. I just love that right there. Love it. But we don't we not see them for Grey. We don't see them to Emperor Grey, unfortunately. Maybe he's just hiding in his last pack, last two packs. It's a, it's a possibility. Um so well, maybe I'm just getting one ult out of this. <laughs> one ult and a secret, which, yeah, I right, but <laughs> it would be nice if we, we did get more. Uh, so we do manage to get another Takuya, which is good stuff right there. Uh, we're definitely good with our Goonies. And we've got, we got Groundmons coming out of our, coming out of our A. <laughs> so it's last pack. Don't think we're getting an ult tamer, which is unfortunate. But I'm happy that I've managed to get another BLs. Uh, I definitely don't think, no. I think we literally just got Tykemir and then we got the Clockmon. And that is it for the rest. That's, that's everything. We're done. <laughs> We're done. So let's just scoot all this to the side. And let's just go over what we got as the prime targets here. Um, and yeah. 
start off the hype with a little bit of a, a little bit of this um the superior mode sharp one cross seven which is a a very nice looking card right there very slick do like the artwork on that i, th I think like I prefer this art than the actual alternate art. And that's saying something, because I'm usually, I'm usually a chase of the drip. But this time, I'm not going to lie, I actually prefer this one. <laughs> it just looks more dynamic. Once again, done by my favourite artist. So, I'm, I'm really, really love that. Whoa, <laughs> let's drop my cards. So, obviously, the BL's mom. This is obviously the menace of the format. It's quite nice that I did manage to get a uh, just a normal one. I do have an another alternate art comes with post, so that's fine. So at least I can, if if locals is gonna uh, say we're BT12 ready, at least I can actually just slot this in because currently I'm using a proxy at the moment. Uh, so now that I don't actually do one of him. I'll see a War Grey, which is a pretty nice card. I'm um, looking forward to constructing the deck. I do, I, I do have um, what was it? Black War Greymon built. I just never really played it this format, but just because he was pretty overtuned and and uh, you know I, I I like I value my friends at, at locals and I don't really want to piss anyone off, so <laughs> I didn't run the deck on that one. But I'm looking forward to trying out uh, War Greymon. I think that'd be pretty cool. Obviously the Hunters. Obviously got Astromon, um Superior, which is obviously another good card. Uh, we have a hunter, hunter archetype, which I think is pretty sick. And um, the alternate art looks really good as well. But um, unfortunately, I did not get that. Happy that I managed to get at least one gallant mom, <laughs> which is which is a uh, nice, really, really good support. Really solid at what it does. Uh, I'm looking forward to giving that a further testing. Uh, but unfortunately, I need I need two more gallants uh, to build the deck build that I've done. And I'll put a link to the video. It's a really solid build. Um, Kelstrom mom. Um, yeah, nice. <laughs> and obviously, the all, all force is a really nice card there as well. Don't know if it's so much necessary for the deck to function, because um, it's already pretty good at what it does. Uh, but regardless, uh, still a pretty solid card. I think it's, I think it's nice. And Pilger on Fire Mode, which is, once again, pretty awesome. Now, I did manage to get that. I do love the alternate art. I think the alternate art is pretty sick. Um, so, really good stuff. And then for my alt, I did manage to get the Greymon, uh, which is just a really, really nice looking alt art. <laughs> really nice looking alt art. I'm pretty much in love with that. That's 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 pretty hot. Cannot complain. So yeah, definitely looking forward to refining the that build and just uh, yeah, giving it giving it a whirl of locals. But that is it, guys done if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a real like and standard really helps out the channel and guys stay safe stay fly and i'll catch you next one did you dread off the mic